Hello everyone, Pallytop here. Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. Feeling better today, slept in until about noon. Uh, so def definitely caught up with a little bit of rest that I guess I was missing out on. In today's video, we're going to continue practicing my quick cast settings because I'm still getting comfortable with them. Uh, I just played a game with Kerrigan and I think I missed probably 90% of my combos. It felt really bad. But uh, we're going to be playing Chromie. If there's one character that has skill shots that are hard to land, I would say it'd be Chromie. A lot of lead time. You have to predict quite well. And previously, I was really good at it, so I want to make sure I could still be good at it. So we're going to be playing Chromie today simply for that reason. Here we go again. And she's fun, and I like her. There's also that reason. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves at the Infernal Shrines today. The friendly team Genji, Zul, Varian, Ren, Chromie, Asmodea. The enemy team Tracer, Jaina, Genji, Zul, Jen, and Probius. Level one, we're going to go for Compounding Aether. I mean, I'm just going to use the build I always use. There's nothing wrong with it. We're gonna go Bronze Talons. We're gonna go Bye Bye because, well, I'm pretty afraid of the Tracer Genji. Hope you're ready, I need to get away from that. Ten seconds. Here, let's do, our, let's do our Mastery Taunt. Oh, do we not have a Mastery Taunt? I don't know why everyone thinks it's such a big deal to play a video game with me. I'm not very good. You're probably gonna lose. And you you know I'm going to say something derogatory about you at some point, and I'm not even, like, I don't even mean to. It just comes out of my mouth. Hey. My third's still a little raspy. Oh, 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 look, oh. Oh, she put hearts down. Okay. Thumbs up. I'll be friendly. I don't mind. Okay, but now that the minions are here, you're going to die. So Chromie's Q ability is a straight line skill shot, and it will travel through minions. It has a one second delay, so you have to lead and predict your target quite a bit. Uh, she also has, she won't go there. She also has a like artillery bombardment ability that the enemy team can't see where it's coming from. They have no idea. I'm so dead. Oh, so dead. Walk into that, please. Holy shit. Please don't kill me. Please let just let me live. Let me live. Sorry, but that that was. <laughs> I was like, wait, why is Jada moving up? I don't understand. Then it all made sense. Uh, our E ability is a stasis trap that I should have had on the ground already, but I guess chose not to. And uh, this will trap someone in a stasis like a Zeratul VP. But it's only in that area, so you have to uh, you have to preemptively put it down and then run back to it when the time comes. Well, let's just throw this out here and hope for the best. Tracer, you want to walk into some more stuff? Now we did pick up bronze talents at level two because um, Chromie does get her talents two levels early. That's her trait. It used to be really gimmicky when it was only one level early, but two levels early is pretty dope. So we have our level. Four talent at level two. Once we hit, um, once once we, you, you guys get it. You can, you can math. Me on the other hand, I I can't math. So, I'm still landing these relatively well. I would say, that's good. I'm gonna start up the shrine. Now, as Chromie, it's not my job to actually clear the shrine out. It's my job to zone for our team and like punish people that get a little bit too close like that, and potentially this Genji over here. It, I don't have the clear to actually kill this shit. My team has the clear to kill this shit. I just, I just kind of poke. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. We're going to go for Dragon's Eye. More damage in the center of our W ability. That means if we line it up perfectly, we will do bonus damage to someone that's right in the middle, which is pretty good. We are ahead on the race, but it's by no means over as the enemy team can move in whenever they want to. Uh-oh. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to reposition big time. I am really genuinely afraid of the Tracer Genji. They could do a lot to me. Um, we need to just completely fall back here. I don't think we're going to make it, team. I don't think we're going to make it. The good news is, once we get our heroic ability, the enemy team doesn't have a single cleanse and only... Oh, shit. That's not true. Rewind will take them out of the temporal loop. Ice block takes them out of the temporal loop, and dragon the X marks the spot. X strike, that's what it's called. 
We'll take them out of the temporal loop. This game may be a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think that through. And I legit have no idea how to use the slowing sands, and I don't think I would even do that here. Because they could just ignore it. They could just completely bypass it. Stop, stop moving! Stop moving so much! We did get the objective, but we almost lost our allies for it. I messed up the timing there. Gotta get better. Gotta start doing better. The good news is they messed up the Punisher jump. The bad news is it's the first Punisher, so it's, it's probably not gonna do much anyway. For a second there, I had to make sure it was... Of course it was an ally Punisher, it was hitting Tracer, but it was just, I don't know, it was acted real weird. Uh, we could line up some shots on Tazdingo as he's taking that, or at least try to. Uh, does Genji know we're here? Genji, please don't kill me, Genji. Genji, walk into the time trap, Genji. <laughs> I'm so vulnerable and scared, Genji, please. Oh, that looks good. Oh, just a little short. And I am so far up. How did this happen? How did... I'm so stupid. Oh, thank you, Asmodan. Thank you, Asmodan. I got a little ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Hold on, do you think Tracer's gonna walk through that time trap, though? Tracer, you gonna walk through that time trap, though? If I throw... Oh, no. Oh, no, I missed up. Okay, we gotta leave. So, Temporal Loop is only gonna work some of the time versus some enemies, so I actually have to think about when I'm gonna use it. Oh, and Taz Dingo can immune out of it. Well, not out of it, but he wouldn't die. Oh, this game's harder than I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was just gonna be like a GG, it's over, team. If I could stay alive, that's it, but but no. No, that sucks. We hit him with the combo, but because Genji was there, I couldn't fully commit to it, and Varian had to walk away immediately. So what the Deparo loop does is it brings someone back in time three seconds to a spot that they were originally standing, and then you can throw all of your abilities into that spot and do a lot of damage. You wanna start your, your W, Throw out your Q, and then auto attack them once all of that shit lands, and it is a ton of damage. A massive amount of damage. Ah, gotcha, baby girl. I'm in range, right? Yeah. I got it down. We're doing it. Oh, let's just W this. Now, your Q ability does go through minions, but your W ability, you can dome people with it. It's all right, you can clear minions out with that shit. If you ever see me shooting my Q at stuff, it's because I'm just trying to proc the, bar the bronze talents in order to just deal a little bit extra auto attack damage. Tracer was here, I don't know where she went. I'm a little nervous. All right, let's assume she's up top. I'm just real vulnerable on the way up. In fact, I wanna hit level 11 as soon as possible so I can start to use Bye Bye to get out of these situations. All right, so let's just drop this right over here and hope for the best, just a little too early. We do pick up a kill with a great dunk on Probius. Uh, we'll try to dome this Genji a little bit. They are on the objective, but that ult from Probius is going off right now and I don't wanna deal with that shit. Uh, there's mine, yes! Take that, Dingo, the dunk and sand dunk combo. The asthma dunk and sand dunk combo. So scary. Um, Jaina doesn't get Brightwing until, or doesn't get, excuse me, Ice Block. <laughs> yeah, Jaina doesn't get Brightwing until level 20. Guys, everybody knows that. Don't do it, Tracer. Don't do it, you're barking up the wrong tree. You're barking up the wrong tree, Tracer. I will end you. Uh, Tracer can rewind out, but that's on a pretty long cooldown. And she just used it. I don't think he has anything to get out with. Oh, he did. Uh, yeah, let's just combo Jaina here. <laughs> That's one of the most fun things in the entire game to do. It really is. Every time I land the Crowy combo, it just makes me happy. That's so good. It's just so damn good. Alright, so we're seven monsters away from the objective being completed. That's the technical term for a, an objective minion, by the way. I'm not just making that up. It's a monster. Uh, this is going to be a Frozen Punisher pushing the top lane. Frozen Punisher can actually set me up for some really good combos here, so I'm going to try to continue to play offensively. I don't know why it dropped all of its frost back here, but it did. 
Uh, Jaina did a good job of dodging that. I'm a little afraid of the Probius shit going on here. Not gonna lie. Varian Ren, super deep. I'm gonna keep taking pot shots at these guys as best I can, though. Great, put, jump for the Punishers, secure a kill. He doesn't have X-Strike again yet. We can bait this out, we can bait this out. I don't even know if we need to. <laughs> so this guy, we can pull him back. The Punisher's actually gonna jump on him too. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, it's so good! It's so good! Okay, but uh, bye bye our level 11 talent. What it does is it allows us to just completely hearth within one second. So that channel time that every other character has, uh, Kroby could just be like, yo, what's up team? I'm out of here, I'm leaving. Which I shouldn't have to tell you. Uh, can be incredibly overpowered if they don't have stuns. Spoiler alert, uh, they don't have stuns. So as long as I see the damage coming, I can completely leave before it hits me in most cases. Uh, let's try not to die here. Let's just take pot shots. I could just auto attack Tracer and she'll die <laughs> from the bronze talents proc. Um, I was gonna say, where do we think he's going? A little too far away now. But we can hit Zul'jin. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Tracer is like your mortal enemy as a Chromie, but it's also really fun to just like bronze talons the shit out of her. Because she's so squishy. Uh, if she doesn't get the health return later on, I mean, she's screwed. She did get the heal though. So at least that, but she's not getting any untouchable stacks. Just keep killing her. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're so fun. Just wait for that uh, deflect to end, and then we'll go ahead and bronze talents him. <coughs> I am missing a few skill shots, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's on an unreasonable amount. You know what I mean? Their team is also like hyper mobile, so. I'm not too surprised. Nice pickup there. A little overkill. A little overkill, but still a nice pickup. We got the Probius ult coming out for some reason. I just noticed that their Probius is named Dayman, and I really like that. That moment when you wish you named your account Nightman. Or Champion of the Sun. Or Master of Karate. Any of those things. Missed opportunity. Missed fucking opportunity. Uh, the objective's gonna be up in 15 seconds, but we're fighting in the middle lane. Jane is dead. Zul'jin running away. We can poke at this Genji just a little bit. And I, and I do mean poke. I don't want to piss him off. If he goes full aggro on me, I don't think there's anything I can do about it. To be totally honest with you. We have our time trap down. I'm gonna go ahead and start the objective. Alright, it's going well. Killed stuff. Of course it's going well. Now, I am a little worried about Asmodead being up at the top lane. Oh, that was almost perfect. It doesn't matter where the fuck that Q goes, I get the Bronze Talents proc and I can kill that Genji. <laughs> oh, we might have to leave here, team. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get the fuck out. Probably could have killed her, obviously could have killed her, but much easier to hearth. I really like the change the Blizzard did, by the way. It doesn't snap your camera your camera back to your character when you go back to the base. You can just gotta get out of there and keep watching the action if you wanted to. A lot of damage happening to our Genji over here, but the X-Strike will go out. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I don't know if they saw me covered in or what, but they did start to back up. Let's put down our little time trap here. Now, I did get this talent that I haven't actually fucking used yet. It's called Quantum Overdrive, and what it does is it allows you to, um... It allows you to increase your ability damage for a small amount of time. So, if you do get someone in the loop and you think you can combo them, you could do a lot more damage with it. I mean, you can't deflect that. Do you really think you're gonna kill me? Do you really think you could kill Kroby? Uh, but I haven't actually used it yet, because I'm bad. So let's use it right now. Let's just Q this dingo. 900 fucking damage on a Q there. Oh no, we gotta leave deep. Oh shit. That one was close. That one was close. The I wasn't expecting the Probius ultimate to be up and, and going already. I was gonna say, I don't know if he meant to do that, but having all of that deflect stuff happening at the same time was actually pretty solid. Oh, even if my team can't get back to this, we can still win it. Not worried about that. Hi, Tracer. <laughs> oh, 
I just globaled her. She was at a hundred percent. She was at a fucking hundred percent. I globaled her. <laughs> oh man. Hey, Jaina. Please stay in range. Thank you. <laughs> I've been trying so hard to use my cooldown. Hey, 20 kills without dying. Who would have guessed that is possible in a Pally Time video? I mean, anyone who's seen me play Chromie before, I think, knew that was possible. So we got the level 20 talent for more time traps. I'm just going to put them around me. They still have a cooldown, but they're on a charge system, so we can use them a little bit more often, but... I'm just gonna run people back into that landmine if they start to give me too much trouble. <coughs> Excuse me. I do like to pick up the loophole talent, but I didn't think that this enemy team would be grouped up enough to actually get any value out of that. So uh, I didn't go for it. And past and future me is, is a perfectly fine option as well if you wanted to go down that route. Just allows you to spam Qs out a little bit more. Um, but again, I'm, I'm just trying to land sick combos, bruh. Uh, looks like Jaina is gonna be taken down. Dingo's gonna take a thousand damage. And our Punisher's down, so I think it's time to leave. But first, hey, let's do this. Oh, I messed up real bad. I messed up real bad. I don't think I need to leave yet. Ah, oh, Probably is so cautious. Okay, I'll leave now. Ah, oh, I messed up that combo. My W was still on cooldown for three seconds when I threw the combo, or when I threw the loop out, so... I was able to do the full combo off of it, and I choked on my timing because my timings are solely based on when to throw the W, which is about six o'clock, by the way, for those of you wondering. You just throw the throw the combo at six o'clock. Shouldn't tell people that. We're gonna see a bunch of Krobies at Quick Match now. I remember after I made that Charism video, I saw so many people using the Charism Palatine build, and it made me feel really good. I gotta tell you, it made me feel really good. Do we think we can kill this tracer? <laughs> it was so close. It was so close. All right, we have our three charges. Let's start let's start warding ourselves in a little bit. Can you guys just walk into my stuff, please? Bye, tracer. Bye, tracer. Hi, Genji. Nice deflect, Genji. Okay, we can fight this still. We just need to reposition a little bit. Oh, man. You didn't get out of that? Really? Really? He has so many ways. I was told that if uh, Genji uses deflect, it stops that. Now, it shouldn't. The deflect should, st should not stop the loop because it's a crowd control effect. Um, but I was told that it does. He also has X-Strike he could use to get out of it. He could just jump if I mess up my timings, but my timing was a little off and he just took it like a man. He just sat there and took it. Well, it looks like, uh, it looks like this game's going well for the home team, team. Where are you, what are you doing? Don't leave. Don't, don't, Varian. Varian, I can't do this. I'm, I'm a little gnome. Please, please help me. Thank you. Thank you, Varian. That was really nice of you to come back. I thought you were going to go to the store to buy some cigarettes and I would never see you again. You know, I did say one bad thing about this Asmodan. Oh, shit. Uh, I think it's time to leave, team. <coughs> bye bye, so overpowered. It really is. Like, it's just normal pickup games. Bye Bye is one of the strongest talents you can get, in my opinion. Alright. Oh my fucking god. You think he's gonna go up? He went up. No! Varian, get him! Varian, get him! I got her. No, you fucked it up! You fucked it up! You had one job, Varian! You had one job! Just run into. Just run into. Fight 
Holy shit! That was the best dunk I've ever seen. That was the best dunk I've ever seen. And I've done some pretty fucking good dunks, let me tell you. I've done some pretty good dunks, and that one was so good. Wow. On a fucking Genji that's about to kill a Varian. Just knocks that out. That's amazing. Dude, I'll upvote that guy. Fuck it. Nicely done. <clears throat> Alright, I forgot to change seeds. See, that's the good thing about having this thing here, is I don't look like a complete idiot when I forget to change scenes. It's not just me in a little hexagon. Like, this is what it would look like without the frame. <laughs> and then it just looks silly. But hey, it looks like I'm, I intended for it, maybe. All right, so here's the stats for the game. We did, we did pretty good. We did pretty good, team. Uh, the build I use is the same build I always use for Chromie, minus the level 20 talent. We have Compounding Aether, Bronze, Talons, Dragon's Eye, Temporal Loop, Bye Bye, Quantum Overdrive, and Endor Hall Anomaly. Didn't even know the name of that talent. Didn't even have a clue what that talent was called. He went for the turret build. How did he do? His damage wasn't bad. Everyone was telling me that I shouldn't have done the turret build, and that was why I didn't like Probius. So maybe we'll revisit him again. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As you can see, I'm still not 100%, but at least the headache's gone, so I can actually, like, think clearly today. Uh, but thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, do all that shit, and I'll see you all next time.